Attack on Mika! I'm home! Hey sis, I'm so hungry! Alright, hold on a minute. I'm a senior in high school who's preparing for my college entrance exams. Oh, bean sprouts again? I'm sick of bean sprouts. Sorry, you two. Nothing else was on sale. Anyways, I gotta get to work. Make sure you leave some for mom. Our father passed away shortly after my youngest brother was born. Our mother is barely home because she's out working for us all day. But that still wasn't enough for us to survive. So I've been helping out by working a part-time job ever since I got into high school. Welcome! May I take your order? Oh. Yo, Mika! What's up? Sunio. This kid is Sunio. He's a classmate from a wealthy family. You're working at a place like this after school when you should be studying for the exams? Man, it must suck to be poor. <laughs> Leave me alone. So what do you want? Hmm. I bet the hamburgers here are nothing like the real thing from the United States. I visit the States every year and eat the best of the best. So I would know what a hamburger should taste like. Yeah, yeah, whatever. You can leave if you're not ordering. Ugh, bragging about his trips again. What a rich bastard. <laughs> well, it may not accommodate my palate, but I'll order a set just because I feel pity for you. Ugh, so annoying. No wonder that guy behind you is like, get on with it already. Take it easy. Damn, I'm gonna be late for class! Aw, oh, look who it is! You finished delivering newspapers, Mika? Don't be late! Sunio. Man, it must suck to be poor. <laughs> look at you running around first thing in the morning. See ya! Why can't you just leave me alone? Alright, I'm passing back your achievement tests. Congrats, Suneo. You're second in the entire grade. Oh, Suneo is? Wow! <laughs> well, my tutor is the best teacher who teaches royalty in Europe, you know. Easy peasy. <laughs> and Mika, congrats to you too. You were first in the grade with full scores. Huh? Whoa! I've never even heard of full scores on the achievement test. Uh, you know, it was luck. B what? This must be some sort of mistake! How could a poor girl like you score higher than me? That's not my problem. You were the one who made mistakes in your test, right? Uh... Mika, that's amazing! Full scores on all the subjects. I was just lucky, but I do try to study as much as possible, because they'll take away my scholarship if my grades go down. I respect you for working and doing so well in school at the same time. Hey, what about college? Yeah, well, things are pretty tight as is. Sorry, Mika. I'm not sure about college. Don't worry, Mom. I don't need to go to college. I know we can't afford tuition or room and board. Plus, Ichi and Hajime are still small, so I should work. Honestly, I did want to go to college, but my family situation wouldn't allow it. <laughs> Poor people can't go to college, can they? Go away. Even if you get lucky and get better grades than me, you're too poor to go to college! <laughs> you should learn your place in life. On the other hand, my family has money and prestige, and I get good grades. I was born a winner. Yeah, yeah, whatever, asshole. Well, it's pointless for girls to go to college anyways. You'll end up only being able to find a job to barely get by. And you won't be able to send your kids to college anyways, just like your mom. Hey, that's enough! Oh, are you mad now? I just stated the obvious. If you're so mad, why don't you try out for tea university like me? Well, you'll just be wasting your money for the application because you won't be able to enter anyways. <laughs> Mika? I'm so pissed off. We're applying to tea university. Huh? Did you just say we? After that, I started studying like mad for tea university. Balancing my part-time job with studying was difficult. On top of that, I'd have to live alone to go, so I may not actually be able to enter. But I just didn't want to lose to that spoiled brat. Why me too? But through all of this... <laughs> There's no point in girls trying so hard. How sad that you have to study during recess, too. I have a qualified tutor to teach me one-on-one -on -one at home. I don't have to study my ass off at school like you guys. Sunio kept bothering us, and we kept ignoring him. The day of the exam, when we ran to Sunio at the testing site, he seemed surprised for a second, but... 
You seriously came? A poor girl like you has no place here. <laughs> Don't you think it's a better use of your time working these hours? <laughs> yeah, I got a day off of work to come today. Sorry we'll make it in and take your spot. We'll see about that. Why me too? And finally, the day of the announcement. Yes, we made it! Why me too? I'm so happy. Suni, on the other hand. <laughs> I just had a bad stomach ache that day. You should thank me. I gave you my seat, you poor girls. I wanted to go to KO University anyways. I would have turned T University down anyways. <sighs> I was so happy to be accepted into T University and to have and to have beaten Sunio, but he was right. We were too poor. I needed a scholarship to even go to high school, and if it didn't work, we wouldn't be able to feed my brothers. But someone from above gave me a helping hand. What? Really? Yeah. The grant type full scholarship that you applied for was accepted. All of your hard work and dedication to schoolwork and your family paid off. Incredibly, the application that I sent for a grant type scholarship was accepted. My mother was in tears when I told her, and I was able to go to T University. Three more years passed. When I came for an interview at a big corporation, I ran into him again. Oh. We meet again! Don't get cocky just because you got into T University. True intelligence is what counts in the real world. True intelligence? That's right. The ability to integrate overseas experiences and scientific literature like me. Well, you just watch and learn. You'll see the difference between someone who's just book smart like you and someone intelligent like me. <laughs> he went off like that before the interview, but once it actually started... So, Tsuneo, you lived in the States for two years and France for three years, correct? Yes, sir. What would you say stood out to you most during those five years? Please explain in French. French? Yes, please. Uh, well, that was when I was small, so I forgot quite a bit. <laughs> Is English okay? Hmm. It says you lived in France from 6th grade to 8th grade on your resume. But sure. English, please. Yes, well, I would say that the art museums were most impressionable, especially the Louvre Museum. I went so many times, I'm a big fan of paintings. <laughs> Oh, so you have an interest in art? So does our president. He has a replica painting of the Last Supper in his office. Oh, that's my favorite. It was so inspiring to see it in person at the Louvre. <laughs> huh? The Last Supper isn't displayed at the Louvre. Huh? Oh, oh, yeah. I must be thinking of that other museum. <sighs> okay, next participant. Miss Mika Shingeki. It says here that you've been working part-time since middle school. What are some lessons you learned through that experience? Yes, I was able to experience firsthand the joy of working for others. I come from a poor family, so I had to work for my brothers. I didn't have money to go to high school, so I had to keep my grades up to maintain my scholarship. And it wasn't easy balancing work and school. However, whenever I was able to buy something nice with my hard-earned money for my brothers, they would be very happy. Seeing the joy in their eyes gave me the strength to persevere. Whoa, me! I hope to add value and bring joy to people through working at your company. Yeah, you're in. On my way home from the interview. Hold up, Sunio. M Mika? I was able to get into college even though my family was poor, and I couldn't get the best education. And everything you made fun of me for up until now, there are people who appreciate me for those things. Results may be important, but how much effort you put into the process matters more. You're always making excuses. All you need to know is, time is a bitch. Sunia wasn't accepted. I was accepted and started working for them after college. A few years later, I was put in charge of a project when... Mika, this is Sunio. He works for the subcontractor we hired for this project. Oh, Sunio? Mika? He's now working as a subcontractor of a subcontractor for the project that I'm in charge of.